you're a small channel in a popular niche, social hacking is probably the best way to gain the first traction. Basically, take the face of a famous person in your niche and slap it into your thumbnail. Let's drag and drop Isaac's YouTube video on a timeline. And I will be providing you guys with a whole asset pack that I used in this tutorial. If you want to download it, just click the first link in my description. Zoom in a little. Grab your playhead and drag it to 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Then hit Command or Control B to split the clip. Delete the first part, then move 10 seconds forward and split it again. And just delete the leftover part. Click on a clip, go to the right side of the software, scroll down, under Blend, reduce the opacity to 50%. Position your playhead right here and drag and drop this rectangle on a timeline. Reduce the scale to 50% and just adjust it so it will fit perfectly right in the middle. Go to the media panel and drag and drop this photo on a timeline. Go to the right side of the software under the mask. We are gonna use circle, scale it up once again using the on-screen controls. Click to the basic tab, just simply scale it down and position it right here. Go under text tab and drag and drop the default text on a timeline. Type in 316, scroll down just a little where you see stroke, check the box and reduce the thickness to 25. Use the on-screen controls to scale it down and drag and drop another default text on a timeline, delete the default text and type in subscribers. Make sure to use the lowercase letters, pick this font and once again scroll down and add stroke and reduce the thickness from 40 to 25. Scale it down, click on Isaac's video and just hit V on a keyboard to hide it. Now let's adjust the size of the text. Make Isaac's video visible once again by hitting V on a keyboard. Select both two clips and just extend them till the end of the video. Select both texts and do the same. Click on our first text under the animation tab, scroll down and pick this free animation called type 1. Reduce the duration to 0.3 seconds, then drag the subscriber text to right here. Go once again under the animation tab and pick the same animation. And reduce the duration to 0.3 seconds. Select both texts, right click on them and create compound clip. And do the same for the photo and the rectangle. Position your playhead right here, right before the zoom in animation and add keyframes on transform on all three clips. Now move the playhead where the animation stops, click on our rectangle and scale it down to somewhere around 25%. And do the same for the photo and the text. Now select all three compound clips and just slide them down so they will align perfectly with Isaac's rectangle. Go back to the media panel and drag and drop this yellow rectangle on a time Line. Use the on-screen controls to extend it till the end of the video. Position your playhead right here on the second keyframe and just scale it down so it will fit perfectly with other yellow rectangles. Let's drag and drop this Mr. Beast logo on a timeline. Go to the right side of the software under the tab called Mask. Once again we are gonna use the circle mask, scale it up using the on-screen controls and fit it nicely inside the rectangle. Once again, go under the text tab and drag and drop the default text on a timeline. Let's delete this text and type in 241 million. Make sure that M is uppercase, scroll down just a little bit and add a stroke to our text and reduce the thickness to 25. Now scale it down using on-screen controls and fit it nicely inside the rectangle. Now just copy and paste this text one time Delete this text and type in subscribers. Make sure that this text is lowercase, scale it down using the on-screen controls and just adjust the text so it will fit nicely in the rectangle. Now use the on-screen controls to extend it till the end of the video and do the same for the rectangle and logo. Now select both texts, profile, photo and rectangle, right click on them and create a compound clip. Position your playhead at the beginning of the video and just copy and paste it one time. Right click on them and undo compound clip. Click on the second keyframe, select both texts and both photos and just drag it, scale it down to somewhere like this. Go back to the media panel and just drag and drop this dude perfect logo on this Mr. Beast logo and you will instantly replace it. But now we just need to change the number of subscribers from 241 to 60 million. Adjust the text a little bit. Now we can once again select all four clips, right click on them and create compound clip. Position your playhead at the beginning of your video copy and paste this compound clip one time, click on the second keyframe, right click on our compound clip and undo it, drag it to somewhere like here, make it smaller. The first thing we need to do is change the logo. So let's drag and drop this photo of Jake Paul on the timeline and just hover it over and replace the clip and just change the number of subscribers from 60 to 20. Select all four, right click on them and create a compound clip and just repeat the process one more time. Click on a second keyframe, undo it, position it right here, scale it up a bit. Let's drag and drop this photo on a timeline, replace the clip and change the number of subscribers. 
from 20 to 12. Select all four clips, right click on them and create a compound clip. Now click on this compound clip, drag this to the beginning of the video and just copy and paste it one last time. Click on the second keyframe, right click on it and undo a compound clip, drag it up, scale it up. We are gonna change the profile photo, just hit replace clip and we are gonna change the number of subscribers from 12 to 15. Now select both texts and create a compound clip. Create a compound clip for profile photo and create a compound clip for rectangle. Position your playhead at the second keyframe, click on our first compound clip and add a keyframe on transform. And let's replicate this for the rest of the compound clips. Now position your playhead on the first keyframe, click on our first compound clip and just scale it up till it gets out of a frame. Like this, click on our second keyframe and scale it up till it gets out of a frame. Scale it up, perfect. Scale it up, just like this. Now, for these three compound clips, remember the number that you scale the rectangle. So let's say 300%. And now just type in 300 for the profile photo and type in the 300 for the text. And you will automatically get the correct position. Now we made something like this. Pretty cool. Now let's move on. Click on the bottom blue rectangle, go under the animation tab, look for the animation called fade in. Click on it and reduce the duration to 0.3 seconds and do the same for the profile photo. Click on the blue rectangle, go back to the video tab, add the keyframe on transform, drag playhead at the beginning of the video and once again add another keyframe on transform and under position put in minus 100. Now click on the second keyframe and just drag the playhead forward till you see the next movement starting. Uh huh, right here. And add the keyframe on transform Add another right here. Now just look where the animation will actually stop. Let's say right here and just scale it up. Select our three clips, scale it up and position it just like this. Now select both profile photo and both text, scale them down and adjust it so it, they will fit perfectly. Now just look through compound clips and find the compound clip from Jake Paul and this other guy with 12 million subscribers. Okay, they are right here. Add a keyframe on transform and do the same for this other guy. The best part is you don't actually have to look where the animation will stop because we already have done this in the past. So just click on the second keyframe, scroll up and just start moving it. Scale it up and align it perfectly. And let's replicate the same thing for our other clip. Just like this. Click on the first keyframe and count five frames forward. So one, two, three, four, five. Click on one other compound clip and simply add the keyframe on transform. Now click on our second compound clip and just scale it up and position it so it will fit perfectly. Let's do the same thing for this other compound clip. Position it just like this. Now click on the first keyframe, scroll up and add the keyframe on transform for the top three compound clips. Scroll down just a little bit, find the second keyframe, select top three clips and just scale them up. Okay, we are getting somewhere. Take a look at this. And don't worry, the movement is not 100% accurate. Right now we are just adding rough keyframes. At the end we will make everything smooth and perfect, just like Isaac. Move your playhead forward and look for the next movement. Click on our blue rectangle and add a keyframe on transform. And replicate this for all the other compound clips. Scroll back down again. And just move your playhead forward where the movement will actually stop. Now select all three and just drag them to somewhere like this so they will fit perfectly. Now click on our first compound clip and just drag it down and just slide them around so they will fit nicely. And for the top three compound clips just select them all and just drag them around. Now move your playhead forward and look for the next movement. Okay, perfect. It's right here. Scroll back down. And once again, add the keyframe on transform on all compound clips. Now just move your playhead forward and look where the animation will actually stop. Right here, select all three clips, move them up. Now let's do the same for the first compound clip and the rest of them. For these top three compound clips, make sure you select just the rectangle and text because as you can see, the profile photo is down here. 
So click on the rectangle and text and just move them back to the place. Click on a profile photo and drag it down. Make sure to add a keyframe on transform and scale it down a bit. Now let's do our last movement. It starts right here. Scroll down, add a keyframe on transform as before. Replicate this for all the compound clips. Drag your playhead forward and look where the movement will stop. Right here. Scroll down, select all three compound clips, scale them up and align it perfectly, just like this. You don't have to worry about this compound clip because it was already out of a frame, so... Move your playhead forward and look where this photo fades out, so right here. Drag it to up there, add a keyframe on blend, click on this keyframe and once again add a keyframe on blend. Now use this little arrow to quickly jump on the second keyframe and just reduce the opacity to zero. Ok, now we made some progress, take a look at this. It's far from perfect, so let's start adding some text. Position your playhead right here, at the middle of these two keyframes. Go under the text tab and drag and drop this default text on the timeline. Delete the default text and type in social hacking. Change the color to this red one, change the font, scale it down, add a shadow, change the color and pick the same red color. Reduce the distance to zero, angle to zero, opacity to 100 and blurriness to 100. Go under the animation tab and look for the animation called fade in. Oh, it's right here. Perfect. Decrease the duration to 0.3 seconds. Click on this keyframe, click on our text and just change the size so it will fit perfectly in the rectangle. Right here. Now move your playhead forward and look where the text will actually disappear. Ok, perfect. Right here. Use the on-screen control to extend it. Go back under the animation tab. Out. And you can choose this animation called blurry glow. Now right click on this text and create a compound clip. Move one frame forward, scale it down to 75%, adjust it at the middle of our rectangle, so just right here, and add a keyframe on transform. Now click on our second keyframe, once again add a keyframe on transform, scale it up to 100 and adjust it right here. Now go back to the media panel, click on this element folder and let's drag and drop this fire on a timeline. Scale it down to 30%. Align it so it will fit perfectly. Position your playhead right here and just hit Command or Control B to split the clip. Delete the first part. Drag this right here. Go on the right side of the software. Under the mask, we are going to use horizontal mask. Rotate it. Minus 90 degrees. Add a keyframe on mask. Scroll down and increase the feathering to 10. Click on this line that you see on the screen and just drag it to right here. Now click on the second keyframe. Once again, click on this line and just extend it. Now let's move till the end of our animation. Once again go back to the media panel and drag and drop this thumbnail photo on a timeline. Scale it down, hide the Isaacs video by pressing V on a keyboard, click on the second keyframe right here where the animation actually stops, scale this photo up so they, it will fit perfectly in a rectangle, go under the mask tab, we are gonna use the rectangle mask, and increase the scale to right here and round the edges. Just like so. Go under the basic tab, put it on the second layer, click on the second keyframe, click on our thumbnail photo and add a keyframe on transform. Now position your playhead at the beginning of this movement and add a keyframe on transform. Scale it down, position it perfectly so it will fit nicely in the rectangle. Go under the animations and look for the animation called fade in. It's right here and leave the duration at 0.5 seconds. You can position your playhead at the end of the animation and just hit Command or Control B to split the clip and delete the leftover part. Now position your playhead at the middle of this fade-in animation. Go back to our element step and drag and drop this energy tree animation on a timeline. Trim this first part right here, align it so it will fit perfectly. Now just hover it over, scale it down to 50% let's say. Count 5 frames forward, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and drag this animation to right here. 
Now position your playhead right here at the beginning of this fade in animation, scroll down at the bottom and click on our text. Zoom in a little, go under the mask tab, we are gonna use horizontal mask, add a keyframe on mask. Now count 5 frames forward or just drag your playhead to right here, scroll down, slide this line over, perfect. Now go back to the text tab and drag and drop the default text on a timeline. Delete this default text and type in 170k, change the font as before and add stroke and decrease the thickness to 25. Now copy and paste this text and delete this part and type in subscribers. Align this right here, delete the leftover parts by hitting command or control B on your keyboard, click on the second keyframe, select both texts, scale it down, make sure it fits just like before and just right click on them and create a compound clip. Drag this compound clip to right here, trim the leftover parts, go under the animation and look for the animation called fade in and just decrease the duration to 0.3. Now position your playhead right here, scroll down, click on our text, go under the video tab and just drag this keyframe to right here. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Take a look at this. Now we just need to make the whole movement smoother. Click on this blue rectangle, click on this keyframe, right click on them and click show keyframe animations, just like this. Click on this arrow and just click on this. Click on the first keyframe, just like this. To hide this, right click again and click hide keyframe animations. Now let's replicate the same thing for all the other keyframes. Click on this Jake Paul compound clip, click on this keyframe, right click on it and click show keyframe animations, click on this little graph and click on ease out tool and replicate the same thing for this other guy. Now click on the compound clip where we have this profile photo, click on this exact keyframe, right click on it and show keyframe animations, make sure that you are on this axis. Click on this little graph and pick a ease out tree. To hide it, just right click on it and hide keyframe animations. The last thing we need to add is some motion blur and some movement to our compound clips. Go under the effects tab and just drag this motion blur effect on a timeline. If you don't already have it in favorites, you can just search it up right here. And just extend it till the end of the video. Click on the first keyframe, click on our motion blur and add a keyframe on details. Now just move your playhead at the middle of these two keyframes, once again, add another keyframe on details, increase the strength to 62 and increase the horizontal blur to 52. Perfect. Now simply click on our third keyframe, add it and decrease the horizontal blur to 50 and strength to 0. Now click on this keyframe, once again, repeat the process, add another keyframe on details, position your playhead at the middle. Add another keyframe, increase the horizontal blur, blur to 52 and the strength to 62. Click on this last keyframe, let's add a third keyframe, decrease the horizontal blur to 50 and strength to 0. Go under the effects tab and look for the animation called rebound swing. Drag and drop it on the timeline, decrease the size to 10 and speed to 10. Replicate the same thing for the first three compound clips, then the settings will be slightly different. Ok, drag and drop this rebound swing on a timeline, decrease the size to 10 and speed to 12. Dra drag and drop it on the next clip, size always needs to stay at 10 and we're gonna increase the speed to 15. Let's drag and drop this rebound swing once again, make, su make sure the size is 10 and increase the speed to 18. Drag and drop it on this compound clip, make sure the size is 10 and drag the speed to 20. Once again these three clips are the same, so make sure the settings are the same. Drag and drop it on the timeline and just you can leave size at 10 and you can 
leave the speed at 11. And do the same for the rest of compound clips. For this text compound clip, drag and drop it on the timeline, decrease the size to 10 and speed to 10. For this final thumbnail photo, do the same. Decrease the size to 10 and speed to 10. For our text, do the same. Size to 10 and speed to 10. Ok guys, now we made something like this. And before I say goodbye, I would like to say one thing. Thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. It wouldn't be possible without you guys. I've been on YouTube for just two months and we already hit this milestone. I'm grateful for all the love and support and helpful comments throughout my journey. And stay tuned because I'm preparing something big. A full two hour long CapCut tutorial for free. It's dropping next week. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next week.